Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. We are in our... Well, we are in stuck in F5 mode because <laughs> I'm clumsy. Uh, we are in our completely furnished house. In a completely furnished mountain base that I am a teeny tiny bit in love with. Well, um... In love with, except for one small detail that we forgot. As you see, I had to change this part and install instead of carpets, full wool blocks because they are a little bit lower. And actually, the carpet was blocking. Wait, 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 wait. I want you to see. Um, let's say we enchant. No, shovel. Now this works. We have the max level enchantments, but if we, let's say, smack one of those carpets over here. Mm, shovel. Wait, what? This wasn't working before. This wasn't working. Oh, it has to be between the enchanting table and the bookshelves, I guess. What? No! What? Wait. Huh? I don't get it. One second. This wasn't working before, I swear. Now see, yes, no, now this is the problem. You see the problem. Somehow, well, at least a few of those carpets block the um, enchanting bar from the bookshelves from reaching the enchanting table. So I just took all of them out and installed the, the, um, the full wool box. And now this is working, and I've been enchanting two more pickaxes, and I've been lucky both times. We now have three wonderful building pickaxes. And first thing I'm going to do today is digging, because actually the replay mod has been updated, which means I can now record my gaming sessions full on with a spectator camera and give you really nice time lapses. So I'm gonna dig through here and create a passage over to the Mountain West starter base. That was a bit of work. <laughs> so now we have a neat tunnel, neat and smooth tunnel over here at the position where I originally thought I would put the nether portal, but now we have so much available space for portals and whatnot. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. We can now easily get from main base into mines, into cave base, whatever we want. I am almost finished with decorating the whole part. Um, wait, before we mention the decoration part, this is the bulk, st bulk storage unit that I, well, think might actually be enough for this series. So let's say just chests upon chests of cobblestone, of andesite, of smooth stone, maybe of wood. All the stuff that is definitely too much to fit in the tiny barrels and tiny chests over here will go in here. That should do it. And if we need more, we can just add another another room like this on this side over here. Now, to the decoration part, 
I'm not completely done. I would like to add some bits like, like this here, but we are actually out of moss. Well, not so much out of moss. We have five moss left and we could just farm more moss by planting it down, bone mealing it and, and harvesting it. But we are completely out of bone meal. And this is the part in this episode where I would like to show you something because we are actually able to get our hands on a lot of bone meal without even having to worry about skeletons and bones and, and yeah, stuff like that. And for this little contraption that we are going to build, we need four chests. Schwoop. We also need, no, actually we need six chests because we also need two hoppers. And those are made with chests and with our last iron, which is... <laughs> we only have 19 iron ingots left. I really have to go strip mining. What else do we need? We need composters. And those are made out of half slabs. Okie dokie. That we can do. Many, many half slabs and maybe also a few barrels. Just so we can store stuff around the place. We have a little bit of decoration for the surrounding bits. Okay, let's go. And I actually think, even though I have just recently decorated this part, this should be ideal for what I had in mind. This wall. Let's see. Let's take a little bit of all of this stuff out. We are not building something big. This is fairly, fairly small, fairly easy, and really, really handy. Now, at the bottom, we will place one chest. This is the output. This is where all the good stuff comes out. And we will place hoppers facing into this chest by pressing shift clicking on the back side of the chest now everything that falls in here boop lands in these chests next on top of the hopper we place composters so that everything coming out of the composter lands in the hopper and therefore in the chest <gasps> i'm a dum dum we need Four more hoppers. Yeah. Okay, we can craft that on the go because we should have just about enough iron to do that. Two more chests and two more hoppers. Yes. Wonderful. And now we have even less iron. Oh, God. Okay, now we will place these hoppers facing inside of there. Again, pressing shift. Yada, yada, yada. And we actually need... A little bit of space on top three. Now, the base plan, the basic idea is if we put something like seeds or stuff that we, ha that we have an abundance of in there, it goes into the composter and comes out as bone meal, which of course didn't happen because one azalea bush wasn't enough. But if we take all of the seeds that we have gathered, oh god, those are many, many seeds. <laughs> and if we put a bulk of them in here, this will just keep going. And sooner or later, sooner or later, now the first bone meal. Ta da! Now let's prettify this thing. And that should do it for the time being. Maybe we can connect the path over here. I have to think about some sort of um, look for the whole path thingy and for the stairs up here and the way over to the village. But never mind that right now. I think this part is perfect as it is. And from all the seeds that we put in there, 25 bone meal. That is actually good. Now, I would actually like to set up a few barrels over here. That does not look good. Maybe like a this. Um. 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 Boop. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just improvising. <laughs> I don't know. There. Hmm. 
Maybe. Like so? Maybe? And then turn here? Huh. Could work. <laughs> Could work. Could not work. I don't know. Ooh, and maybe a little bit of the moss in the glowberries. The glowberries. Because why not? It is fitting, kind of. Now, with my one remaining moss block, I'm going to find a place to farm moss at. Maybe up here at the tree farm. Might be a good idea. Ooh, there's actually a lot of stuff growing here. Hmm. Maybe I should cut those down and sometime soon. Yeah, well, not now. <laughs> I will just use this bot to bone me uh, the living poop out of this stuff. Harvest it and rinse and repeat because I need all the moss. Well, actually, <laughs> this also seems like a good way to get rid of the mountain because, um, yeah, apparently the moss destroys all these surrounding blocks. You see, all of this was stone before. And now it is moss and moss is gone. So <laughs> this might actually be a very efficient way to to dig big holes. Hmm. Maybe we can utilize that somehow. I think maybe I should stop. <laughs> because um, the base is underneath. I don't want to <laughs> accidentally um, 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 d d destroy the roof of our cave. <laughs> that would be kind of shitty. On the other hand, this is kind of addicting. <sighs> Give me all the moss. Heh. Well, we have two stacks of moss now. That is something. And with all the bone meal, I finished up the tunnel. Ta -da! Now we have a completed decorated roof stuff thingy for our for our tunnel here and i especially like this part this is there's a little bit of greenery hanging down from the ceiling in, in those rooms but this part this is basically like like um some sort of root network just made its way around the around the room i like it oh the only part that isn't quite done yet is this part because I'm not sure what what to do with it actually. I think there might be some sort of entrance in here because I think we will need one or two more rooms to do stuff in. Uh, stuff that is for the next episode. And so I decided to leave the uh, this part in here kind of blank just for the time being. But this part is done! Woo! And I think I will go and strip mine a little bit just so we can fill up all those all those chesty bits and so we can get a little bit more iron because this is just a sad sight. This is this is not good. <laughs> so for today, this is a kind of short episode, which is I think fine after the last ones were <laughs> so terribly long. Um I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like if you did. And I'm going to see you in the next one, where we will probably make our way to the village. Uh-huh. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.